This conference will now be recorded. Uh, today, let us go with one more new topic and the last topic of Core Java, that is JDBase. Very, very important one. JDBase stands for Java Database Connectivity. So, from our Java program, whenever we want to connect to a database like MySQL or Oracle or DBT, anything, we make use of JDBase. You can see JDPC is an API which is used to connect to a database, a database from a Java program. We write a Java program. In this, we make use of JDBC API, means the library, the library of JDBC in order to connect to a database. So in order to go with this JDBC, we need to follow some steps. So if you understand the steps, that completes our JDBC. So the steps in JDBC are, the first step is, the first step is in this JDBC. So when you go with JDBC, it's mainly for what? To connect to database from our Java program. So the steps in JDBC are, the first step is the JDBC API, the JDBC library is present in a package, java.sql package, we need to import it. So the first step is import java.sql package. The second step is, whichever the database we are connecting, respect to the database, we need to load the driver class. So the second step is, load the driver class how to load the driver class to connect to mysql is where it's self is class class is a class c capital a belongs to java.lan package and it contains a static method for name and the argument what we are to pass to connect to mysql is com.mysql.cd.adbc.driver in this driver is a doc class file presenting com.mysql.cj.jdbc package so yet com.mysql.cj.jdbc is what it's a package name so package name is small case letters driver it's a class so d capital it's a dot class file right so to load this driver dot class file presenting this package we make use of the method class dot for name method once we load the driver class the next step is establish the connection establish the connection in order to establish the connection we make use of an interface connection interface present in java.sql package connection con equal to driver manager it's a predefined class present in SQL package with a static method get connection. And the argument what we have to pass here is JDBC colon MySQL colon slash slash localhost colon 3306 slash Java 13. This is our database name what we have created a study in MySQL. Username is root, password is Username is root and password is root. Right? In this. From JDBC, it goes to MySQL. So, this complete part, we call this one as URL. This complete part, we call it as URL. So, from JDBC, it goes to MySQL. From MySQL, localhost. Why we are writing localhost? Because we have installed MySQL database server in local machine. We have installed what? MySQL database server in local machine. That's the reason we are writing localhost. If MySQL server is present in other machine, we have to provide the IP address or host name, means computer name of the MySQL server. 
3306 yesterday i mentioned now when we are installing mysql database mysql server is running in port number 3306 this is the port number where mysql server is running Java 30, this is the database name what we have created. Database name, or even people call schema name. Root, this is the username. And root once again, it's a password to connect to my square. So with these two steps, load the driver class, establish connection, we get the connection to MySQL database. If you want to connect to other databases, only this argument will differ. The steps will remain same. Only the arguments will differ that we can easily get from Google. So if you just say uh, JDBC to MySQL, complete code you'll get. JDBC to Oracle, complete code we get. JDBC to DB2, complete code we get. The steps will remain same. Only the arguments will differ. Clear up to all of you. Now the remaining steps are common but once we get the connection to database the remaining steps are common to any database so the next step is create a statement in order to create statement we use two interfaces one is statement interface one more is prepared statement when we go with statement we make use of a method create statement method when we go with prepared statement, we use the method prepared statement. For example, when we say statement st1 equal to by using con, what is con here? To a connection object. Using this object, we have to call the method create statement. If we go with the prepared statement, prepared statement st2 equal to where to use con dot prepared statement. Here only we pass this SQL command which we want to execute. Here only we pass SQL command which we want to execute. In the case of statement C, we are not passing any SQL command which we want to execute. But in the case of prepared statement, we are passing SQL command which we want to execute. So more about this, we'll discuss again. Next one. Next statement is, next step is execute the statement. In order to execute the statement, we use three methods. Execute, execute update, and execute query. In order to execute method statements, we use three methods. Execute, execute update, and execute query. The difference between these three methods is execute method returns boolean, execute update an integer value, Execute query and object of result set, which is an interface. Generally, using execute method, we execute the commands like create, drop, alter, truncate, like this. VDL commands. When you go with the execute update, we execute the commands like insert, update, delete, the DML command. Query select. When we go with select, we get the list of records that are managed with results. Like example, st1.execute query select star from rows. When we go with st2 prepared statement, we simply say only execute query. See the difference between statement and prepared statement. See the difference. In the case of statement, we did not pass any SQL command while creating statement. We are passing SQL command while executing. Whereas in the case of prepared statement, we are passing the SQL command while creating the statement only. While executing, you are not passing. Now, a small question. When we want to execute same SQL command, when we want to execute same SQL command multiple times, multiple times in the program, then it is suggested to use prepared statement. So which one is suggested? When we want to execute same SQL command 
multiple times in the program then it is suggested to go with prepared statement because only one time you give the command while creating statement while executing it in not pass but if i use statement i have to type this command multiple times so this is one difference one more difference is prepared statement is dynamic in nature prepared statement is dynamic in nature means during runtime also we can pass values to sql command so that i'll discuss again next after when we enter into programs one more important question that is using execute method can we execute update command the answer is yes using execute we can even execute update command means by using any method by using any method we can execute any commands no problem so if i use execute method to execute update command the records will get updated no issues the records will get updated but if i want to know how many records got updated then it is not possible using execute method when i execute update command the records will get updated no issues in that but if i want to know how many records got updated that is not possible so this is like suggestion see here using execute method we execute these commands like create table created not created raw put not alter not truncate not s yes, no so boolean insert how many records inserted how many records updated how many records deleted how many integer when you go with select we get list of records which is managed with the result set so this is like suggestion only so what is the point here we can use any method to execute any sql command but to manage the written type we need to use specific method okay. the remaining steps are simple close the statement st1.close in a population says to do that yes finally close the connection under so any jdbc program you can find this seven steps in the jdbc program got it everyone any questions now let us understand all these steps using the program first initially we go with statement then next example prepared statement here you see state printed open eclipse I right click on project and say new class ADBC statement. In this, the first step is import Java dot SQL. The second step is load the driver class. How to load driver class? Class dot for name. So for name method throws class not found exception and most of the methods in JDBC throws SQL exception. So keep the code in try and catch block. Okay. The second step is load the driver class. How to load? Class start for name. What is argument? JDBC code mysql colon slash slash localhost colon 3306 slash java that in our database name username is root password is root sorry i'm typing some other thing class dot for me com dot mysql dot cd dot jdbc dot driver next step establish the connection connection com equal to driver manager dot get connection jdbc colon 
MySQL colon slash slash localhost portal 3306 slash Java that in our database link username is root password is root. so many times we read this piece of code you can easily remember okay so with these two steps with these two steps we get the connection to MySQL database then once we get connection let us display the message We'll say contact close. Let us run the code up to here and check whether we get the message connected or not. Let us see this message. Very important one. I'm running the code. See, we are getting an exception class not found exception. We are getting what exception class not found exception. Okay, then this class driver class belongs to which package com.mysql.cj.jdbc package not java.sql package this is a third party class means java did not give this class to us it is given by vendor who is vendor here now mysql so i have to take this class from vendor how to take it from vendor is we have to download one file understand carefully this is the new thing and some settings are required here so we have to download one jar file download mysql iphone connector iphone java iphone 8.0.30.jar file this jar file we have to download okay jar means it's a library i'll explain more on jar again so we have to download this jar file how to download this is open search engine like google and say mysql connector java download we have to go with 8 version why 8 version because we have installed mysql 8 version on our system so any 8 version you can download let me show this open search engine like google and say mysql connector java download you can use any link to download any link you can use to download, but I prefer to go with Maven repository. So open this Maven repository because here you can see the versions. Here you can see the versions. So I'm going with the version, any eight version you can go. Then once you click on the version, here you can see jar. Here you can see jar to download. So click on this jar. It is going to download the file for us see here mysql connector java down it's downloading go to the folder where it has been downloaded see here this is the file which has been downloaded for us so just to go to the folder where it has been downloaded and let me copy this let me copy this and paste it in a location where you can able to get easily like desktop or seat or anything any folder where you can able to get it easily so let us copy in our folder c drive 2023 Java online 13 Java programs in this I'm pasting just I'm pasting in our Java programs folder anyway you can paste it on any location it can be even in downloads folder no problem it can be anywhere on your system so in future also I'm going to use this file that's the reason I'm copying into our folder once we download this jar file then into the project go back to your project into the project right click on project and say build path we have to add the jar file to the project how to add right click on project and say build path configure build path select the tab libraries select the tab libraries select the class path select class path then say add external jars add external jars then where is our jar file located in c drive 2023 java online 13 java programs just to go to the folder wherever jar file is present then select that jar file and say open then say apply and close that's it now see when we run we get the message so this setting we need to do only one time process only one time process in order to Connect to MySQL database. 
need to set the class path or build path to start trying to enter the project as once. Well. I click on my project and say build path, configure build path. And for the part. Select the tab libraries. Select the class path. Select the class path. Click our external charts. Select this jar file. On the folder, in the folder, click open, click apply and close. So only one time setting we need to do this. What it will be? Any questions? What is jar here? Jar means Java Arcade. Okay. which is a collection of top class files in compressive format. When you want to share the collection of log class files as a composite format as a single file, we make it as jar. We make as jar here. Like zip files, we create zip files. Huh? So which is we take some folders or some files and we group as a single file in the form of zip file, composite format. Same case here. So jar it means Java kit. Then how to create jar files? So for example, I want to show share all the dot class files of my project. So instead of taking one one dot class file and share it, you can make one jar file and share it. How to create a jar file is right click on project and say export. Right click on project and say export Java jar file. Say next. So go with the name. So click on browse. I want to create jar file on desktop. Then I'm going, I want to go with the name as my jar dot jar. The extension what we give is dot jar. Save. Click on finish button. Say OK. And you can see the jar file got created on your desktop. If you extract it, like zip files, if you extract here, right click and say WinRAR extract to a folder, extract to my jar folder. See, my jar folder will be created. And if you open this folder, you can see all the doc class files here. So when you want to share doc class files as comparison format, we make jar files. Okay, see in the project also you can see here reference libraries. If you expand reference libraries, you can see the jar file got added. If you expand, you can see the package C com.mysql.cj.jdbc. In this package, you can see driver class okay so we got the connection now clear up here how to get the connection and what setting we require to get the connection any questions Let us go back to the program. So we got the connection. Now let us go with the create statement. How to go with statement? Statement st equal to on dot create statement and execute the statement. St dot execute. St dot execute. And we want to create a table from our JDBC program. So we'll see here. Create table employee. With employee name back int of three. Employee name, take care of 10, salary, float of 4. After the SQL command, we want to execute that SQL command should go within double quotes. Once this statement is executed, the table will get created. Go with the message, table created. 
Close the close. Close the statement. Close the connection. That's it. So when we run, we get the message table created. And we then we get the message table created and if you check your table open my skin so with the password as root use java 13 our database name then when we say here select star from employee not star describe employee describe employee which is going to show the structure of the table so here you can go in name and salary and we want to see the list of records present in table in select command. Select star from employee, which is going to say empty set because we did not insert any record into the table yet. And now let us insert the records. If I run the code again, we get exception because the table is already existing. We don't create table again. So I don't want to create table again. So keep the code in comments. So let us insert the records into table. To insert, we'll say st dot execute update insert into employee values one 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 the name and something. Similar way, add some more records. Change the values to from and six thousand eight thousand. I'm changing the values again. Go with a message insert. Now see when we run, we get the message inserted. And if we check your table, select start from employee. See we got the records present in the table. Next, update. Let us keep this code in comments. Let us go with update operation like int n equal to st.execute update update employee with salary equal to since we did not use where condition all records will get updated. In our example three records. That three records will come and store into n variable. Just to print n plus records updated. Now see when we run, you can see three records updated. And if you check your table for all records, the salary has now updated to 7000. Next one, delete. Again, the n equal to st dot execute update. Delete from employee. Delete from employee. Since we are not using any where condition, all records will get deleted. In our example, three records, that three will come and store into n. Then we display n plus records updated. The message is three records updated. So when you want to manage the written type, we have to use the specific methods here. Now check your table. In our table, there are no records. So let us insert the records again. So keep this code in comments. And uncomment this so that the records will get inserted. Now see when we run, the records will get inserted. And in our table, where are we? Three records. Let us go with the important one, select. Result set, it's an interface, RS equal to ST dot execute query, select star from employee. When we say select star from employee, it's going to pull out all the records from table and that is connected to result set. Now traverse our result set like this, while RS dot next. When we call the method RS dot next, it's going to pull out a record from table. And when it is able to pull out, it returns true. Means this while loop will repeat until all the records gets completed. In our example, the loop will repeat for three times. 
as we are having three records in the table. Now display one one record. Then SOP system dot dot print line will say RS dot get end of employee number. Why get it? Because employee number is of type integer. Place between the values RS dot get string of e name. I get string where can where can mean string. Space rs dot get float of three three get column number it is salary so to this get method either you can pass your column names or column numbers also column number starts from one to three so see when we run we get a list of records on our console clear all of you this code any questions So these operations we call crude operations. We call this one as crude operations. In C means create. But insert command. R means read or retrieve. Select command. U means update. Means update command. D means delete. Delete. These four are very, very important. Every Java programmer should know how to do these crude operations using JDBC. Very, very important one. Please practice this. Any questions? Let us move to the next one. Prepared statement. When to think of prepared statement is if the same SQL command is executed multiple times in the program, then it is suggested to use prepared statement. And it's suggested what to use prepared statement. Prepared statement is dynamic, means during runtime, during runtime, we can pass values to the SQL command. Prepared statement is what dynamic in nature means during runtime, also we can pass values to the SQL command. Let us understand this with the program. JDBC prepared statement. Let's right click on project and say new class JDBC prepared statement. Here we are going to accept the employee details like employee number, name, and salary from user using scanner class. So import util package. Java dot util package. Import Java dot skill package for JDBC. In main method, create object of scanner class. Connect to keyboard. System dot in is keyboard, then accept the details. In the employee number again to a and y equal to s dot next to it. In the employee name with a name equal to s dot next. In that employee salary flow. Salary equal to start next float. So we have accept, accepted employee details from user during runtime. These details we want to insert into table. Since this data is dynamic, we go with prepared statement. So first of all, we have to get the connection to database. Go with the train catch block.
load the graven class how to load class dot for me on dot mysql dot cj dot database dot driver establish the connection connection on equal to driver manager dot get connection database colon mysql colon slash slash to closed colon 3306 slash java 13 our database name username is true password is good it is two steps we get the connection to mysql then now go with prepared statement prepared statement is equal to con dot prepare statement insert into employee insert into employee values since we don't know values it is the runtime data so we go with question marks before we execute this insert command we have to replace the value of respect to question marks like this st dot set in one comma envo means first two question mark first two question mark will be replaced with what our envo variable value this value similar way why set int because of integer envo is of type integer then st dot set string two comma a name second question mark with a name I set string because the C name is of type string where cat st dot set float three comma salary third question mark with salary and since salary is of type float set float method once we set the value to the respect to question marks call the method st dot execute update with a message insert it close the statement the connection that's it also when we run we will ask for employee number i'm going with 444 employee name and employee salary so we get message inserted and if you check your table see a new record has been inserted into the table so this complete data is done clear We are in one more syntax of same prepared statement. One more syntax. We can say prepared statement is equal to con dot prepared statement insert into employee values. Instead of question marks, we can even directly place our Java variables. How to place Java variables in SQL command is the syntax is double quote plus the variable name plus double quote just replace variable between double quote place variable name plus double quote comma single quote double quote plus a name plus double quote single quote a single quote where gap string then say comma double quote plus salary plus double quote that's it we can even place java variables in sql command now call the method st dot execute update that's it with the message So when we run, last for employee number, employee name, salary. We get message inserted. And if you check our table, you can see one more record got added into the table. And we have accepted this data during runtime from user. Right? So to manage dynamic data, we go with prepared statement. Got it, everyone? Any questions? No. the last one see in this try block in this try block in any statement if you get exception if you are getting exception in try block then this closing operations will not happen but the point is even exception occurs or does not occur in try block we want to do the closing operations so keep this closing operations in finally block so what is the use of finally block it's mainly to do the closing operations and this finally block will execute even there is an exception or no exception since we have declared this since we have declared this, this prepared statement and connection under try block it's unable to identify here 
let us declare outside in complete main method like connection con equal to prepared statement st equal to left. So we are declaring in main method so that we can use in complete program. Since already we have declared, you need not declare one second here, remove this. Now still we are getting error under close method because close method throws SQL exception. So you can add that close throws declaration. Just to keep mouse pointer on close method and you can add here as add throws declaration. Then for your main method, it will add here throws SQL exception. That's it. So using this finally block is a suggested piece of code because the even exception occurs in try block or does not occur. We want to do the closing operations compulsory. Then we keep this closing operations in finally block because finally block is executed irrespective of exception present in. So this database is very, very important. Please practice this compulsory, right? So that's about JDBC. With this, we complete our code Java. The next class, we go with the new topic. We enter into web technologies with HTML. Right? Thank you all. Thank you very much.